East Goshen Farm is one of the reputable incubation centers for Abia life and the incubates. A famous Chinese philosopher, Lao Tzu, said, If you give a hungry man a fish, you feed him for a day. But if you teach him how to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. This school of thought indeed blends with the blueprint of the International Fund for Agricultural Development Project, which is an agro-training project in Nigeria. In line with that school of thought, Abia Life ND Management Team is working hard to enact the vision of the project. Friday Oluchi and Ikubeti attached to East Goshen Farm in Abia State is one of the many Ikubetis trained in line with the school of thought of the great Chinese philosopher. As a woman-headed household, Oluchi qualified to be trained on poultry production and the ongoing life in the project in our state. As a happy beneficiary of the project, with limited basic primary education, Oluchi narrated how she knew about life in the agro-training project. So one fateful day, um, when I was sleeping, and I had uh, one advert in the radio. They said um, this is life and the, the job is, and is for those that do not have something doing. They are not saying, okay, let me, let me see if this one will work. So when I went out now, I had not seen the posters outside. I had decided to say, okay, let me try if this will work for me. And to God be the glory, even some, one fateful day when I was sleeping, if I know, I have the call. They called me and tell me that Komu, I your name. I have come out from that, from that life under faith. And that's why which one is that? If I've already forgotten the program, I've already forgotten anything concerning it. That's okay. Let me go and try. After all, all these government um, empowerment. Um, I've applied several. I've not seen anything. Some people say, say it's for one night people. It is this, that. So some of it, they will ask you to to fill form with money. But this one, everything was free. Everything was, uh -huh, that's okay. Let me see. Even say I was in good discovery itself um, for, the, for the program. So one of my spirits say, come down and sit to the end of this program to know how far about it. And I decided, I said, okay, let me see. I must see the end of it. Oluchi gave hints on her working capital, working circle, and her mission for the agribusiness. Yes, I was given capping, uh, working capital by 500 beds, feed, and medication. My first working circle, I have 172 thousand um, six hundred and eighteen naira as a profit then my second circle i had two hundred and two hundred and forty five thousand eighty naira as a profit my mission in this business i'm planning and um, i'm also thinking on how to on how to move forward to success uh, and to become a millionaire in in life with such little basic primary education Oluchi narrated how life has been with her from tender age, which she narrated not to be bed of roses all along. I've gone through through challenges in life. Started when I when I'm in primary school, even self, even self, I dropped school because of how life was so um, challenging to me. Even self, I was dropped out in that was in my primary five to primary six. So sometimes me and my mother we went to farm, we went to forest to gather firewood. If I have not said firewood, we will not eat then. So life was so tough to us. They even so there to the extent we drank in this swamp water. If not by the grace of God, we are alive today. So even self have said said many uh, many things in a way for me to survive have hawk pure water at uh, on nature um, and the first and um, the first week i went to on nature i said i can't stay like that without um, um, without doing anything I, I took my my pen and go and buy pure water started hawking but then yes nothing moved 
I tried selling granite, hawking granite, yet nothing moved. I have so many things, even hawking bread, nothing moved. I started to say, okay, let me go and let me go and the learn hairdresser. So after learning the hairdresser, I did not see money to for that. I'm a married woman with a two kids. Actually, my husband for now he's not doing anything. What he's doing now is all this mess. Anytime, uh, anytime they called him, he will, um, for all this messing, patching or everything, he will go. And it's not a steady job. So I've been, we have been managing just like that. And it, since this life ending came through their stipends that have, uh, we have been receiving. Like what I'm using to to assist the family and also and also using it to pay my children school fees. So I, 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 I'm so grateful for this for this program. Mr. Eric Friday, Oluchi's husband, also affirmed how difficult raising his family has been until his wife was enrolled into life in the agro training program. Don't be smart in you. Don't be smart in you. Uh, so for you start today, uh, nothing. Even uh, for we start for Lagos, come come back, stay for uh, Onisha. Even she don't say pure water herself. She don't. She don't sweep uh, all these uh, roots. This thing. Short. He don't, he don't say granules. Many things. We try to tell life, life and be saying she never, she need to give up. I will tell her life and anything where she they do, she they make sure say she succeed and she, she, she will be the best for that thing where she they do. So life, no day is at all. I, my, my mind they very sweet now. They very happy about the program because if they. Eventually, then come to these things where they say they will do for them. Uh, I go, we go there, we go, we go there very happy. And we go, I know say God go lift up from them. Happily satisfied with the commitment of his wife, Mr. Friday was proud with his wife. Oluchi also advised youths to venture into agriculture as she applauded the effort of life and the project which she wished to continue. I want to tell my fellow youth that nobody should lose hope in life. More, more especially, yes, so poultry, uh, farm, farm business might be difficult, but in future you will, uh, you will gain it if you can able to have patience in anything agriculture, yes. And I want to also thank Life Andy for their support in my life and in my family. So I want to say thank you to Life uh, IFAD and Life Andy. I say you people that um, that brought this program, may God bless you people. The Life Andy project is ongoing in the nine Niger Delta states of Nigeria. Also involved in the project are the Federal Ministry of Agriculture, the Federal Ministry of Finance, Budget, and National Planning, and the United Nations.